Um, now, the other day I sent it to you, you know what I'm saying? So, K Flock, he got hit with more uh, charges. You know, we just talked about that too. Like, people just get hit with more charges. Yeah. Uh, he had a he got if he was originally in there because of the Sugar Hill situation, and now they're trying to put more cases on him. Um, and then you posted on your IG, you basically said that you know uh, he birthed a lot of you dudes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, bro. So what what's your thoughts on on that on K Flock situation, man? Like, I feel like I feel like he gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't I don't wish bad on on people like that. Yeah. I, and plus. You know, he got a good family behind him, good support team, and I just feel like that young boy need to be out here. He he's he's a pioneer of this too. Without him, a lot of these people really wouldn't exist. You know what I'm saying? Ops and on the friend side. You know what I'm saying? He gave everybody the alley oop. You know what I'm saying? So once I seen uh the little the little weasel looking dude post that keep him, you know what I'm saying? Who who posted that? The block work kid. Uh. <laughs> For there, <laughs> when he posted that, you know, like that, that, that little phrase, or however he tried to make it, or however it, it did that to me, and I'm like, like, why would you wish that on him? Like, you know, what I'm saying, let that boy have a fair fight with his case. This yeah. case, he just got transferred there. Everybody runs to the media, and, and, and they play outside jailhouse lawyers. The case is fresh. You know, what I'm saying, let that man have a let him have a fair trial. But then you turn around and you wish it on him when he birthed y'all. Without K, y'all had nobody to really diss. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that this K came up. Everybody K fucked with came up. That is true. And when I look at K Flop, bro, I look at him as like the Chief Keith, how Chief Keith came in Chicago. And yeah. Lil J. K Flop was the cheat code. He was the cheat code to the drill. All you had to do was either be on his side and you was going to win, mm -hmm. or you diss him and you're going to win. Mm -hmm. Because he ain't taking no slack. So if you say his name, he's going to respond to you. You know what I'm saying? K ain't taking no slack. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he was he was the gatekeeper to them. He, like, he, he birthed them. He birthed a lot of these dudes. Yeah. When, when you see K. Fox situation, man, do you feel like, you know, we're not going to just say it's they fought, but do you feel like <clears throat> he could have had somebody on the, you know, like an OG or somebody around him, his manager, like, yo, you know, you, you moving too crazy because I know you've seen certain videos of K. On, online and, you know, he was just, he was reckless. He was, he was moving reckless, bro. All so, right. His team, I know I know a couple of them. His management, JD, Demon Time, and I'm saluted them, boys. I know them. And I'm pretty sure, I wasn't there. I'm pretty sure, you know, people talk to him. But you got to remember, like, with my son, these kids get a certain age, it's hard to just tell them, you know what I'm saying, this is what I, I mean, you could tell them what you want. They're going to react how they want. But his situation, I wasn't there, so I really don't really get to it. But if I was in that position, I'd be in the same position. You know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't have hesitated either. If he did, it, if allegedly, because yeah. like I said, it's a fresh case. I don't know if he did it. I don't. I went there. Allegedly, of what they're charging him with. If I was in that position, I, me personally, I would have been in the same position because, you know, what I'm saying it's the way it is. We don't know if it was him and if it was. Why was he there? He could have been doing some media thing. It could have been any. We don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So all I do know is that the kid that's there got a gun in his pocket with his hand on the trigger. You know what I'm saying? What you expect me to do? Yeah. You want me to be the nigga laying on the floor dead? Yeah, and, but in New York, though, I guess with them, them gun charges, they, they strict, they especially. I'd rather get caught with it than without it. Yeah. See, well, without it, you got your family crying over top of you. With it, I can get a visit, still got some life in me. So, you know, and it's bad because it shouldn't have to be that way, but it's just what it is. Yeah. It's the reality of it. Uh, yeah, um...